Right, we'll look at the structure of how we use BNF notation. Here we go, starting off with looking at all the valid strings in the array to describe lead hardness. So, in the exam you might be presented with all the valid strings. These are strings, so that strictly speaking this will be in inverted commas, quote marks, because uh, they're alphanumeric. There, there's no actual numbers or digits standing on their own here. Uh, so we've got 4B, 3B, 2B, and we can presume that's 1B, described just as B, HB, and so on. Our example we're using is 6B. We start off with our notation being the category. What is the category we are trying to describe? We are trying to describe lead hardness. And this is defined in the 6B notation, 6B. So how is this split up? This is split up into a scale, number 6, and a simple description, a letter called simple hardness, B, 6B. These little lines here indicate uh, a break in what we call the terminal. How many terminals are there describing our symbol? There are two terminals, scale of hardness and simple hardness, 6B. Two terminal, two terminal symbols of the syntax string, 6B. Okay, very simple syntax this. This is not as complex as trying to describe the cat sat on the mat. This is uh, much simpler. We passed this in a pass tree earlier on with our um, main category at the top and we broke it down until we eventually got to our digit and our simple uh, description. Uh, so here's the actual syntax. We start off with our noun. So let me just put that there. That's our noun or our verb. This side of it could be a verb. This is called consists of. So I'm just going to circle that. This little uh, double colon and equal means consists of. And then the other part, the equals is called of. So consists of. And this is our symbol. So I'm going to write the word there. Symbol. Symbol. And that is the symbol part. Symbol there. And then these are our two terminals. So I'm going to circle those as well. Terminal 1. Sorry. Terminal 1. And terminal 2. Okay. Two terminal symbols of the grammar uh, syntax or string. And now we're going to go into that past tree again. Remember, uh, sometimes it's best to work uh, bottom up, or I'd like to think of uh, what are we ending up with? We're ending up with a 6, and we're ending up with a B. And that's going to be the bottom of the tree, as it were. Actually, it's the top of the tree, but never mind that in a way. Um, so I like to think, what are we ending up? What is a 6? Well, a 6 is a digit. So I know I'm going to describe that as a digit. It's the digit component of our alphanumeric, and this is the text. But we don't say text because it's actually being given a description called simple hardness. I'll just describe it like that, simple hardness of the pencil. And we're moving up the tree now. There we go. Uh, if I've still got the line tool, yeah, simple hardness. And both of these go into describing what we know is a um, scale of hardness. There we go. So scale of hardness. And this scale of hardness has been split down into a digit part and into a letter or simple hardness part. We work further up the tree. We work further up the tree. The reason why I've left the um, syntax laid out like this is because this is what's in our minds. Remember, it's all breaking down into that. And what's our description in the syntax? The 6B. There we go, it's a 6B. 6B is our symbol. It's described as scale of hardness and broken down into simple hardness as well. So, simple hardness. Um, I trust that makes it simple, although in the exam you certainly won't get a description of 
a lead pencil, you're more than likely going to get a new language. They might present you with, oh, we've got a new language here. Could you please describe it in BNF form? Or, this is an algorithm. Could you set it up as a BNF form? Or, this is a BNF form. Could you pass it uh, into a tree diagram? And so on and so forth. So, this is a good starting point. Always try to remember the different components of your BNF. You've got the category on the left. You've got this little symbol here called consists of this, these components, 6B. The 6B is broken down into two terminals, a scale and a simple letter description. We can pass that easily enough. There's our um, symbol. It's divided into scale and simple. Scale is divided into digit and a simple letter hardness. And there's your two examples of the actual symbol, 6B.